All right, we have let her sit for about three to four hours. She's still at uh, 200 degrees body temperature or around 90 degrees Celsius, but I reckon that's cool enough. Um, there will still be some papers in there, flammable, volatile gases, but you know, I, we're just gonna open it up and see if there's anything wrong, we'll just close it again. Alright, so now I'm going to turn the blades on and we will be able to um, have this carbon get out. Look at that. Beautiful. Some of it spilled on the ground, which is inevitable. So we're just gonna go ahead and sweep it up. Because we want to now weigh how much carbon we got. Of course, you know, I'm sweeping this. There's gonna be some other contaminants that get in it. You know, some stuff from the ground, some dust, maybe some bits of plastic. You know, we're not trying to make anything perfect. We're just trying to try. That's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to try to be better. And it'll be a little bit more scientific with everything. So, overall, here we have it. Here's the carbon product. You see, nice carbonization. No real, like, huge chunks. Really no visible plastic left. Now, I will say, especially um, near the lid of the reactor, there were some bits that had some oil left in it, visible oil. So I think that for absolute, absolute carbonization, we should have run it for another hour. However, this is still miles, light years better than the previous reactor by all means for just five hours to not even have any visible plastic. So we remember the weight, the total weight before was 113 grams, seven pounds, or um, what was it about like two, two point one nine kilograms? It says seven point nine ounces. Two point two five four kilograms. Two kilograms and um, two five four grams. Four pounds and. Uh, Four pounds, 4.15 pounds and five ounces, 79 ounces, 79 and a half ounces, two, what's that, is that 22? I can't read this damn scale, but I think it's saying 2.2 kilograms and five, four grams. I think that's what it's saying. We also know that we did add 30, what, 38 grams of carbon into that mix. So doing that math will let us know how much actual carbon the plastic itself gave us. We also added the lime as well, which added weight. So we had to subtract both of those from the total number we got here. And that will let us know exactly how much actual carbon the actual plastic itself gave us. In terms of the liquid product, I have this very dirty measuring cup over here but it's still a measuring cup and I have the um, condensed, the end of the condenser here. This is where the, all the liquids collect. So let's see what we got. There we are. Okay. Let's see. So I can definitely tell there's a lot of water in there. So it's not just pure oil. I didn't expect it to be, there's always water. However, if we're measuring just the liquid alone, this is right under 500 mil. Of course, we'll need to separate the water to see just the oil fraction of this. Um, let's see if it is flammable by any capacity. So I'll soak up some of this top layer because this is most likely to be oil and not water. And let us put some on this little um, dish here. Um, and move it away, safety of course, move it a little bit away from there, and let's see if it lights, oh, oh wow, 
Oh, that has a very low flash point. Wow, did you see how quickly that thing lit? Just like gasoline. Whoa, I was not expecting that. Now that was a surprise. I'm glad I had that thing. I moved it away from the measuring cup. In fact, let me move it even further. Now I see how low that flash point is. Interesting. So LGPE actually gives a very similar product to gasoline. Um, and that was, anyway, what I wanted to observe before is look at the viscosity of this. It looks like gasoline, almost like water. But this, a lot of this is actually oil. You can't really see that well on camera, but you can see the water starts down here. And the rest of this is oil. So that means that, like, really, that oil really is like that. It really has that low of a viscosity. I am not Nile Red, so don't ever expect any type of clean, pristine environment over here where I'm at. This is Mad Max Nile Red for you. The most rugged it gets. Messy environment, dirty funnel. But I don't care. If it works, it works. You know what I'm saying? This LDPE, look at this. We may not have gotten much oil, but look at the oil though. Look at the oil. High quality. And there's the water fraction. We can tell because it has all the gunk in it. That's why I have this little filter up here to catch any of that gunk that could clog my funnel. You can't really see anything because it's so dirty, but, you know, hey. Now, people often ask me, Jab, what do you do with your balls besides dropping them down people's throats? And my question, or my answer to that, rather, is I compress my balls. And that is because that will maximize their efficiency, their energy efficiency and their energy storage. You need to store the energy of the balls. So, I'm going to show you guys how I compress my balls. And, um, that way, and anybody that wonders how I do it, you, you'll know how I do it. So, let's compress my balls. Okay, so here I have a fridge capacitor. Here I have a yoga ball full of the pyrolysis gas. Actually, let me go ahead and just open this port now so I can play forget. Um, and this fridge capacitor is hooked up to a super capacitor um, because the original start capacitor in it went out. That's a fun uh, tip for anybody that's doing what I'm doing or want to use these in general. It's rare that these ever die. They almost never do. It's just the capacitor on them goes out. And you can actually just order this super capacitor here for fridge um, for fridge compressors, $15. And you pretty much can get any single one of them to start running again. I mean, it's rare they die, really. Kind of like... um. Mag not magnetic, but like the transformers and microwave ovens, it's rare that they ever go out. So anyways, um, the suck side of this is going to the ball, and the push side is going out into this desiccator here. And this is to remove the water and the oils, and then get it nice and dry. And then it's going to go up into propane tank right here. Modified propane tank. Um, to, it's basically just been modified to you know, allow quick fittings, what they call those things, quick connect fittings to go into it, so, and it is hooked up on the tank, it's going in, and now it's compressing. So as you can see, one of my balls has been sucked dry, so we're going to do that three times over, get all three of my balls sucked to dry, 40 PSI, okay, trust me, man, I sure hate working at night, but I always end up doing it. So anyways, this is um, a measuring cup. I already had some dirty water in there or like oil contaminated water. So I'm just going to use this same measuring cup to get the water out of here. Oh, that's definitely oil now, isn't it? Yeah. See that oil? It's golden. It's like piss. Already, we didn't even do nothing to it. Oh, it sounds like it too. Sounds like fresh piss in the morning, doesn't it, man? Magnificence. Of course, when it's in there, it gets so dirty, but it's because my measuring cup is like the devil's toenails. <laughs> Just look at it, though, for real. Like, it's really clean. Like, it's literally like, like golden. Like, like, look at it. It's see-through. Like, I can't even get over how. Oil right from the machine looks like this. We've never had that before. So it came out to be around 275 mil, very close to 300 mil. That's this right here is the 200 mil line. This is the 300 mil line. As you see, it's right under 300. So I say 275 mil.
Wow. I just can't believe how easily it lights. Beautiful flame there. Well, kind of sooty and slutty, but <laughs> that's just because of the bad stoichiometry. But look at the energy in that, though. It's just like... That's a lot of energy. Such a small amount. Energy density, absolute. Plastic is very energy dense, my friends. Don't ever, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. All right, well, my third ball has been sanctuated. And now this propane tank is at um, around 100 PSI. Take this off and show you. So three balls equals 100 PSI. Three balls equals three digits. You'd love to see it. You can't see it. But anyways, let me show you guys. This gas is flammable and it's highly calorific and beautiful. Alright, so I have this hooked up to a propane nozzle. And that propane nozzle leads to a homemade burner over here. We're going to light this thing up. Ooh, baby, baby. Look at that. And you tell me that plastic is trash. <laughs> plastic bags gave me this, baby. What you gotta say? This burner is burning inefficient as hell, isn't it? Clearly need to fix the nozzle on it. Damn. Hey, but still, it's beautiful, though. You can't lie. I want to get it blue, though. I'm kind of upset. Hold on. Take two. There we are. <laughs> yes, baby. Yes! Oh my god, so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my good god. The fire! Are you kidding me? It is so beautiful! Wow! <laughs> Lord have mercy. Life is good when you get your balls sucked dry.